So in this section, we're going to be learning how to create a switch so that we can switch between the two pieces of geometry. There are two bumper configurations for this vehicle, and so therefore we're going to create a switch to switch between the two bumper configurations. What's going to make this a little bit more complicated is that in one bumper configuration, there's lights in the bottom section, and in the other one, there is no lights. So we'll start by adding a switch to the body. A switch in VRED allows us to choose between geometry configurations. We'll right-click on the body and tell it to create a switch. Then we'll rename it Bumper Switch. Next, we'll select both front bumpers, and we're going to drag that into the switch. As soon as the bumpers are into the switch, both of them turn off. That's because neither is selected. By selecting a switch, that piece of geometry turns on, and the other part of the switch, the geometry turns off. Let me quickly rename the bumpers. The lower set of lights are only in bumper option number one and are not in bumper option number two. So we're going to have to do some organization to get those pieces of geometry only in one of the bumper configurations. I'll start the reorganization by turning off the environment, and then I'm going to explore to find out which pieces of geometry that I need to be working with. We're going to see that in most of the files, the top and the bottom headlamps are combined in one file. To make this work properly, we're going to need to select all the bottom pieces of geometry and move those into model option one. Since I'm going to be adding geometry into the bumper, I'm going to create a group to be able to hold both the light lens as well as the light body. In order to be able to select a whole grouping of geometry, I'm going to use the rubber band selection technique. Hold the shift key down and then drag across the items that you want to select. Next, we'll drag those into the light glass. We will continue to find the pieces of geometry for the lower headlights, and as we find them, we'll drag them into the bumper option number one grouping. Notice that we are approaching this like we did the very first time. We isolate to ensure that only the originally selected items are available for selection. Then we select nothing, followed by a band select of the lower pieces. A way to ensure that we have all the pieces we need, we can switch to bumper option two. As we do, I can see that we've missed geometry. As we move this geometry to bumper option one, there's something else I want to discuss. When we bake the ambient occlusion, we baked it with both bumper sections together. Bumper two option now has black marks on the paint, resulting from calculating ambient shadows. Therefore, we will need to recalculate the ambient shadows for both bumper options when we are complete with moving all of the lower lights. I also need to select the grill pieces and move those into bumper option 1. Bumper option two now needs to be mirrored over to the other side. Our bumper geometry is now organized properly into the bumper switch. Let me select the bumper two geometry and recalculate ambient shadows. So we're done creating the ambient shadows, and now we can look at the two bumper configurations.